this time I'd like to call the uh, June 5th, 2012 meeting of the Yukon City Council to order. At this time, if you would stand for the invocation uh, by Jeff Houston of the Church of the Savior and remain standing for the flag salute, please. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Most gracious and loving God, we give you thanks for this beautiful day. We thank you for uh, the tasks uh, that, are, that are before us. We thank you for the, the gifts uh, that you give us to perform these tasks. And we ask your special blessing uh, upon all the leaders uh, of this town. May they uh, continue to, to guide Yukon in the, in the right direction and, and, and lead us with, with fairness uh, and wisdom and insight. Uh, bless all of their uh, endeavors and bless all of our work uh, to the glory of your name. In his heavenly name we pray. Call the roll, please. Albert. Here. 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 At this time, if the uh, representatives from the Bug Bash would come forward, we will uh, read the proclamation. proclamation this evening it says whereas Yukon First Church of the Nazarene has begun their fifth year the annual Route 66 Volkswagen Bug Bash celebration and whereas this annual event draws many people of the city of Yukon and the surrounding communities and whereas this event promotes friendship and provides Yukon families and friends with the chance to get to know each other and whereas this event is open to all ages and to all people of the city of Yukon and whereas Yukon Yukon's craftspeople will be able to display their wares. And whereas this event highlights Route 66 and the historic role it has played in the development of Yukon. And whereas this event brings an area wide <coughs> attention to Yukon, Oklahoma. And whereas this event brings benefit to the local community, I there now therefore I, John Alberts, Mayor of the Yukon, do hereby proclaim June 16, 2012, Bug Bash Day. Under my hand, John Alberts and the seal, Doug Shivers, the city clerk. So here's the proclamation. Congratulations, and will you all share with us some information about the Bug Bash? Introduce yourselves, please. Uh, Pastor Gary Reynolds from the Yukon Nazarene Church, and this is Jason and his daughter Lauren. Jason's the one really responsible for launching Bug Bash about five years ago, and it's grown to be not only a citywide, but actually you can invite people from around the nation and do this. And last year we had about 500 people from all different parts of the country, and we're coming to be here in Yukon, and we thank the city council and Yuma County for allowing us to have this opportunity to announce this. Thank you very much. How many bugs come? <laughs> 45, that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's right, that one. Just celebrate some of the efforts and the stuff going on over, over here. It keeps growing. We never thought it would get this big. It's got big now. What events are there during the day? Well, it's just uh, car show and uh, walk and run show and dance park and arts and crafts show. My five-year-old want to know what what is there something there for him? Uh, there's something there for him. Uh, it's all kinds of. Uh, we have face painting out there, and we've got uh, some fun singing. And there's they they enjoy the process too. And one one year they had kites out there. It's all kinds of things that make it come together. Thank you, young lady. Do you have anything you want to tell the council or the people watching us on TV about the bug bash? <laughs> Thank you all very much. Have a great evening. Thank you. Next part of the agenda is the visitor section of the agenda. That's the opportunity for anyone that'd like to address the council about a non-agenda item. If a person is here this evening and would like to address the council, if they'd come forward and state their name and their address and their business with the council at this time, please.
Jan Scott, Parks and Recreation. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, Yukon's Western Heritage Festival. It was a great day Saturday. The mayor was out there with his kids. Um, it's a great way to celebrate Chisholm Trail and with the Louisiana Twist, we say, at the Chisholm Trail Crawfish Festival. We probably had 4,000 people out there Saturday. Uh, it's the most I've ever seen. I've worked at 13 years. Uh, we had everything from kids' crafts, games. We had a goat grab, which was fun. Your son did that, didn't he? He grabbed and had it a goat. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> uh, the Western Town Front gunfights. Uh, new this year was Buffalo Bill's Wild West show, and that was really great. Two 40-minute shows, and there was great food. So it was just a wonderful time. If you missed it, you'll have to come next year. Then I wanted to uh, talk about Freedom Fest, and uh, it's a two-day celebration, July 3rd and 4th. We have the Veterans Tribute on the 3rd, uh, and we honor Yukon veterans. Uh, we have the Rodeo Opry Band, Irv Wagner's Concert Band. He does a patriotic tribute to veterans. Um, then that ends with fireworks, and also there's great food out there. And new this year is uh, Freddy's Frozen Custard. We'll be giving away frozen custard. Uh, on the 4th, we have activities all day, starting with the car show, children's parade, uh, family activities, free swim. We have moon bounces with water. Hopefully it'll be hot uh, this year um, since we have all the water. Um, also, that we have the BMX riders come and they do three shows and it's really neat. Uh, they do that in the parking lot down by the horseshoe pits. And in the evening we move to Chisholm Trail Park. We have free ice cream and watermelon. Uh, we have a hot dog eating contest, and this year it's sponsored by Miller Grill, uh, Nathan's Hot Dogs, like they do in New York City. Uh, um, then we have Super Freak. That will be new for the 4th, and they're a great band. And then we end with the Philharmonic and another fireworks show. So I want to invite everybody in Yukon to come out and bring your friends. Everybody here has been there, so you know how great it is. Thank you. Thank you, Jan. Thank you. Anyone else? Jeannie Vincent, and I'm part of the Relight the Mill Committee, and we're doing the uh, e-waste recycling is Saturday out at the old high school. It's now the 6th grade academy at Garth Brooks in Yukon across from the cemetery. If you've got any kind of electronics at all that you need gone, we will take it, and it's a fundraiser for the mill, and they take anything electronic. It runs on a battery or uh, electric port. They don't, they'll just take it. So if you got more than you can carry, call us. We'll bring a truck. Thank you. Thanks, Jeannie. Thank you, Jill. Any other visitors? Seeing none, at this time we'll recess as the Yukon City Council and we'll reconvene as the Yukon Municipal Authority. The first item is item 1A, the YMA consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda so the Yukon Municipal Authority by unanimous consent can designate those repeat items they wish to be approved by one motion. If an item does not meet with the approval of all members, that item will be heard in regular order. The city manager recommends a motion to approve A, the minutes of the regular meeting of May the 15th, 2012, and B, the payment of material claims in the amount of $43,970.29. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Discussion? Discussion? Call the roll, please. McCarran? Yes. Albert? Yes. Chuck? Yes. Kenny? Yes. Next item under the docket is the 2A, that is to consider approving resolution number YMA2012-03, a resolution approving the Yukon Municipal Authority budget for fiscal year of 2012-2013 and establishing a budget amendment authority. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? Discussion? Call the roll, please. Gerba? Yes. Smith? Yes. McKinney? Yes. Albert? Yes. Next item is 3A, consider renewing an agreement with Capital Decision Inc. for Com for consultants and advisory services for the term of May 1st, 2012 through April the 30th, 2013 at a cost of $7,500 per month. So moved. Second. Discussion? Discussion? Call the roll, please. Albert? Yes. Smith? Yes. Gerba? Yes. McCarran? Yes. At this time, we'll adjourn as the YMA and reconvene as the Yukon City Council. One is the consent docket. This item is placed on the agenda so the Yukon City Council by unanimous consent can designate those repeat items.
I wish to be approved by one motion. If item does not meet with the approval of all council members, that item will be heard in regular order. The city manager recommends a motion that will approve A, the minutes of the regular meeting of May the 15th, 2012, B, payment of material claims in the amount of $504,429.09, C, accepting the Department of Environmental Quality Permit number WL00009110440, for the construction of approximately 26 linear feet of 6 inch water line and 39 linear feet of 12 inch water line and appurtenances to serve the city of Yukon and Grace Pentecostal Church of God water line extension project, Canadian County, Oklahoma. D, setting the next regular council meeting for June the 19th, 2012, 7 p.m. in the council chambers of the Centennial Building 12 South 5th Street, Yukon, Oklahoma. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. <coughs> Discussion? Discussion? Call the roll. McCarran? Yes. Smith? Yes. Albert? Yes. Gerber? Yes. Item two would be the reports of boards, commissions, or city officials. Anything this evening? None this evening, Mayor. Thank you, sir. <coughs> Item three is consider approving resolution number 2012-2, a resolution approving the city of Yukon, Oklahoma budget for the fiscal year 2012-13 and establishing a budget amendment authority. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Discussion? Discussion? Only to commend our uh, city manager and the staff for the fine work they did putting that budget together. So much easier to understand and follow, and uh, I just thought they did a fantastic job preparing it for us. Changes were made quickly. Well spoken. Any other comments? Call the roll, please. Yes. Gerber? Yes. Smith? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Item four is consider approving resolution number 2012-3, a resolution of the city of Yukon, Oklahoma, authorizing entering into an interlocal cooperative agreement for the municipal court jurisdiction concerning juveniles. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Discussion? I want to make a quick point. One, and this is standing resolution. It is. It's an annual resolution. Uh, I would guess five years at minimum. Uh, okay. Yeah, I was just curious as to how long it's, you know, what's the uh, material on here right now? I don't know how long we've had that stuff for over a year. Quite some time. A long time. Any other discussion? Call the roll, please. Smith? Yes. Albert? Yes. Gerber? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Item five is consider nominating and, appro and approving a trustee and an alternate trustee to serve on the Oklahoma Environmental Management Authority Board of Trustees for the term of, of July 1 through Ju June the 30th, 2014. July 1, 2012, excuse me, through June the 30th, 2014. I'd Go like ahead. to uh, nominate uh, Nick Gerber as the uh, member and uh, the, alter uh, the alternate uh, for that board as well. Is that in the form of a motion that we need to second? I would just like to make a motion that uh, he is currently the member. <laughs> I would second that. Poor Nick for that task and then uh, put Nick Gerber <laughs> back in. And okay. We have a motion and a second. Discussion? Discussion? Call the roll, please. McCarran? Yes. Smith? Yes. Albert? Yes. Gerber? Yes. Next item is item six, consider approving ordinance number 1276 in order amending ordinance number five, 657 appendix A of the code of the city of Yukon, Oklahoma by providing that the zoning designation for part of the northeast quarter of section 20 township 12 north range 5 west Indian Meridian, Canadian County, Oklahoma 430 Poplar Avenue be changed from A agriculture to R1 single family and residential and declaring an emergency. Move uh, to approve. I have a second. Second. Discussion? Well, the only discussion I have is normally we'll, we'll, we'll place on this item whether or not the Planning Commission has already uh, authorized it. So I'll just say in, in the future if you could put that on there because I had a little question about it and had to do a little research. So thanks. <coughs> Any other discussion? Call the roll, please. Gerber? Yes. Albert? Yes. McCarran? Yes. Yes. <coughs> Six A. Consider the emergency. Motion to approve. Second. Oh. Discussion. Discussion. Call the roll, please. Smith. Yes. Albert. Yes. Gerber. 
Yes. Okay. Item seven is consider approving an expenditure of funds in the amount of $26,558.98 for the upgrade of the City of Yukon voice operated telephone system from the Technology Department General Fund. Do I have a motion? Motion to approve. Second. Discussion. Discussion. Call the roll, please. Albert. Yes. Nobody. Yes. Schmidt. Yes. Okay. Yes. Number eight is consider authorizing the expenditure funds in amount not to exceed twenty-seven thousand dollars for the certified Healthy Cities Grant Project from the Capital Improvement Fund. Do I have a motion? So moved. Second. Discussion. Discussion. On this, I, I'm just happy to see us continuing to work to upgrade our community to become more and more healthy and that I think that we're becoming more and more health, health conscious. I know that the city is making a, an effort. Uh, we've made step one last year. Uh, this is a program that the city is working uh, with and kind of in, in conjunction with, with funds that were see, received from the tobacco settlement monies passed out by the state of Oklahoma. Um, but we're also going to work in other areas, I hope, to, to continue to make our community more healthy, to make our employees more healthy, and um, this is this is just one more step. So I'm I'm thankful for this agenda item, and I'm thankful for uh, the efforts made by the uh, the staff. Thank you very much. Any other discussion? Call the roll, please. Mr. Chairman. Yes. Schmidt. Yes. Albert. Yes. Nobody. Yes. Okay. Item nine is consider authorizing expenditure of funds in an amount not to exceed thirty-five thousand for. A traffic signal study sequencing along Garth Brooks Boulevard and along Main Street from the Capital Improvement Fund. So I have a motion. So moved. Second. Second. And discussion. Only that I think we better vote quickly because if we approve this, the dancing in the streets will <laughs> be overwhelming. <laughs> well, <laughs> anything else? <laughs> Ditto. I must concur with Mr. Smith after leaving the uh, festival the other day, Jan, from the high school. To target took me almost 10 minutes. <laughs> now, that ought to be 10 seconds, but anyway, maybe not quite that quick. But yes, we're thrilled to let the public know that we will be. But I do have a question. When we spend this money, one one thing that I understood is that anytime lightning strikes, it's going to. It can affect all the electronics in the area. It can affect one. It can affect all of them. Part of the other thing that we talked about during budget hearings, if y'all will remember, <coughs> is a maintenance contract. Yes, that's what was my, that was my question. And uh, uh, Matt has gone through, has sought out a couple of two or three companies that were willing to take on a maintenance contract, um, and you will be seeing that uh, expenditure in the list. Uh, we intend to do it. It's really pretty economical. It's twenty-five dollars an intersection. Uh, per month, a uh, total of $8,400 a year, and they give us the ability to, uh, uh, a through a flash drive, be able to reprogram any time we have power surges or power interruption of any kind. We can just go out, uh, power up the, uh, the, the controller, plug in the uh, flash drive, and, and be able to come back to normal with all the stoplights being sequenced again. That is that's not part of this thirty five hundred dollars. No, it is. No, it is not. Okay. Will that be in front of us fairly quickly? Actually, it will be in the new budget year. Okay. And it will be in front of you as an expenditure of funds for a contract for you to sign. Okay. Because if we get these resequenced and there's a storm, then the next day they're going to be out of whack again. So we'll need our maintenance people. Actually, to come what in. we're doing is a study that will give us the data so that we can, in today's uh, traffic environment rather than five years ago when they were last done. Uh, in today's traffic environment, they will give us all the data we need to set the, uh, uh, set the sequencing where it flows with today's traffic patterns. Okay. Okay. Any other discussion? Call the roll, please. Nobody. Yes. Mr. Chairman? Yes. Mr. Smith? Yes. Albert? Yes. Next item is 10, and that's the city manager's report information only. Uh, first of all, I, I would like to introduce John Corey. Uh, John is here from uh, uh, Corey's Audio Audiovisual Services, LLC. Some time ago, uh, this council approved the, in the upgrade of our audiovisual equipment. That has been accomplished. 
Uh, actually, John is here uh, making sure that we don't uh, mess up the equipment <laughs> tonight in our first uh, first run through because this is the first night that it has been uh, available uh, for use. Uh, we appreciate the company. Uh, by the way, it is a Oklahoma City company, an Oklahoma company, been in business since 1953, and uh, says a lot for that kind of a term, John, and we appreciate your company and what they're doing for us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, the next is the fire station construction update. We are, as uh, Robbie likes to put it, um, we are substantially complete. Uh, in fact, the, uh, the move-in has started. Uh, the Myra, the secretary for the fire department, has in fact started her operating out of the fire station already. Uh, we're finishing up with all the phones. Uh, Gary Cooper, uh, IT manager, has been over there uh, making sure that everything is up and running, that we have computer services, that we have phone service, that we have all the alerting systems that we need uh, in the uh, system. Gary, thank you very much for your effort. I know it's been uh, taken away from my time with you, but uh, uh, we, we do appreciate it. We are continuing to move in. We would anticipate that if all the inspections go well, that we could be operating out of the new fire station by next week. So uh, very pleased about that. Um, and you can expect for us to have a really grand, grand opening uh, in July. So uh, we'll be notifying you of the date, the exact date of that, and we, we intend to have quite a quite a shindig at the fire station. Sure. Uh, the next thing is the uh, police fire or flag plaza. If you'll uh, drive by up by the police uh, station, you'll notice that the flag poles are in fact flying flags and that the pedestals as designed uh, already have the plaques as well as the, uh, the uh, Masonic uh, emblem uh, from its dedication. Uh, it looks great. We'd like to pass on a great big thank you to the Yukon Rotary Club who provided uh, the landscaping for the building and around the flag plaza. Uh, that has been, um, has been installed. And uh, I personally think it looks great. And uh, John, thank you very much for the work you did and, and your staff. Uh, finally, uh, I don't think if you came up Main Street that you could help but notice all the uh, all the barriers and the, and the barrels and the, all of the traffic control that's going on up there. That is but one of uh, several public works projects that we have ongoing and are completing. Uh, that We've had a leak that we couldn't find for as long as I've been in Yukon. <laughs> if, uh, if, you, if you drove down by the uh, Yukon National Bank drive-in on Main Street, uh, you would see in the outside eastbound lane uh, water seeping throughout the, uh, particularly the spring and summer months. Uh, we finally found it, uh, and we had to dig a, a rather large hole in Main Street, but we found the leak. It has been uh, corrected, uh, and we're starting back tomorrow with the asphalt, and we anticipate that uh, the uh, all of that part of it is going to be complete uh, by the end of the day on Wednesday. So the 5th and Main intersection will be open completely. Not to say <laughs> that we're not moving on because then we're moving all those same barrels and all that traffic control up to 6th and Main. Uh, right now, uh, with valves being what they are, uh, we currently uh, have to shut off one quarter of uh, all of the original town site of Yukon if we have a problem anywhere in that entire area. So we are installing two new valves at 6th and Main so that we can isolate that better and uh, keep from having to shut off the service to so many businesses and homes throughout the area. Uh, so. There's more detour on Main Street coming down the way in the next day or two. 
Uh, we've also finished uh, the drainage repair at, uh, the, at the intersection of Mabel Fry and Crown, uh, including the replacement of the sidewalk. Uh, street repairs also on Mabel Fry uh, have been completed uh, or will be completed by tomorrow. Uh, other street repairs at 728 uh, Mabel Fry. Uh, we've visited about 4th and Main. We're moving to 6th and Main. Uh, water and Holly wastewater line bursting. Uh, we did 210 foot of uh, line bursting, which is uh, putting a polyurethane pipe inside of an existing pipe uh, that has been done as well as the repair of a manhole in that area. Uh, I will also tell you that uh, the we have found a, a spot where a manhole had been buried with no lid on it and uh, <laughs> we wonder why we have stormwater infiltration of our sewer system. And uh, that's one reason. When you leave a lid off a manhole, it tends to get a lot of water in it, especially when it's next to a creek. Is that on Kingston by chance? <laughs> what? Do you remember the location? Actually, it was in a park <laughs> uh, behind the mayor's house. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> the, uh, it, uh, but we were able to, to get that done. Uh, so we're also doing ninth and poplar valve replacement. And then right after the first of the fiscal year, after the first of July, we're going to move over to Von Elm. Uh, we have a pretty significant uh, drainage issue along with a uh, uh, deteriorating street that we must address uh, at, at the very near future. You'll be seeing a, as soon as we can get a, a firm number, we're, we're going to be coming to you with a... Uh, expenditure proposal for your consideration uh, to fix that area and it's long overdue and it's, uh, it's something that I look forward to completing. With that, Mayor, my report is complete. Thank you. Next item is 11, that's new business. No new business this evening. <coughs> that would leave us number 12, would be council discussion. Mr. McCarran. Uh, just uh, one minor item over here. I was uh, very pleased tonight to walk up and uh, congratulate Mr. Horn as our uh, new official chief. Uh, I had a chance to talk with uh, Dr. McCarran and uh, he's been acting like one for quite a while. So it was pretty nice, I thought, that we finally confirmed that and made him a, a, re a real deal. So uh, that's it for me. Mr. Gerba. Nothing, sir. Mr. Smith. Uh, just a couple of brief things. I would like to echo Mike in uh, congratulating Chief Corn. It's a lot easier to say Chief Corn than Acting Chief Corn, so uh, I am uh, proud of you, and, and I think it was a, g a good decision on the part of the city to uh, uh, give you that title on a on a permanent basis. So congratulations. Um, I'd already mentioned how uh, thankful I am that <coughs> Grayson and his staff worked so hard and did such a good job on laying out that city budget for us. I think it was a lot easier. I think we'll all agree that it shaved down a lot of our uh, uh, meeting time that uh, that we had put in last year. <clears throat> and then the uh, last thing, the uh, the two projects that uh, were selected, uh, and I guess I think Mitchell selected those two projects by the elementary yeah, schools for that grant. Selection by committee. Selection by committee. Well, that committee did a fine job, and I think the uh, uh, students and, and uh, patrons that use those crosswalks in front of Sheedeck and, and Parkland are going to appreciate those two projects as much as I do. And that's all I have. I I. I Th congratulations, John and uh, Jan. Thank you for everything you do with the parks and things that we're looking forward to. Uh, being a, an old dad and having a kid that's involved in the parks, we're able to find a manhole that we, we could smell something, so we go on a little exploration, and before you know it, you know, poor Matt's out there in the middle of the evening with his flashlight trying to find a manhole that ultimately was not covered. So anyway, but great job, and uh, he's going to, is it kids camp now? My son didn't, he's five, he didn't go to bed until 11 o'clock the night before kids camp. At 2.30 a.m., he wakes up and says, Daddy, is it time yet? <laughs> I'm like, no, son, it's not time. He couldn't go back to bed until almost 3.30. And then we got him out of bed and he, he caught two turtles the first day. So, but I just, I, I think what I'm trying to say is, is we have such an impact in this community on our children and the people around it. 
Mitchell and everybody, and I, I know I mentioned some people, but I don't want to forget other people that I don't mention. I mean, it's just a great place to live, and I know I say that, and, and people say, oh, John says that all the time, but it's amazing what we do. I mean, tonight we found out we're having a grant writer. I mean, I was acting like a little puppy back in our planning session because there's just so much free money, but that's mu that's just an opportunity for UConn. Thank you all for content. Not settling idle and be not sitting idle and, and being happy with the status quo, but looking to continue to make things better and better, go a different direction, look a new way, make us healthy, you know, keep all of us happy and make us look good. Our job's really easy just because you all do such a great job. Thank you very much for making our job so easy. Nothing else before the council will stand adjourned.